that today I'd show you a realistic day in the life of a digital nomad, specifically here in Cape Town, South Africa. And you may not know this, but Sumner and I actually travel a little bit different than a lot of other digital nomads. We travel quite slow. So a lot of times we're in the same city, like even the same Airbnb for a month, for example. And we do that on purpose because we really enjoy having a routine. It is really important not only for our work, what we actually do on a daily basis to sustain us and pay for our travels, but also because we truly enjoy having um, a routine, a, a little bit of a set schedule, but it does change all the time, depending on where we are, depending on what the Airbnb and the area has to offer. So I thought it'd be cool to show you. I'm excited, I'm excited to record. It's a beautiful day. And now I'm gonna go get ready to go to the gym. Sumner has already left because I'm usually a lot slower than he is in the mornings. And we got also so much time together that a lot of things we just actually enjoy doing by ourselves and gym is one of them so let me take you along today i'm actually gonna work out in the building gym there's not much here but no one ever comes here Another thing that this Airbnb has that we don't always have the luxury is a steam room. So anytime that we have a sauna or a steam room or anything, we try to do it. I usually do it a couple of times a week, try to align it with when I wash my hair, but Sumner does it every day, he's about to do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of studies coming out about how healthy saunas are, so it's really good for your heart and reduces like heart-related you know, heart attacks and things like that. Um, it's great for your mind as well. I see a lot more creativity after going in the sauna. Uh, you just feel great overall and it increases these long arcs of dopamine. Uh, and I think it helps regenerate muscles, all these benefits. It kind of sucks during it, but you'll notice the rest of the day, you'll feel amazing. And now we're going to get ready for the day and prepare some breakfast. super elaborate makeup I never really do a lot I don't really like it like it more natural and especially just for a regular day I don't really do much but I like having something on now put my jewelry on and then we're gonna make breakfast a day we have breakfast in a big breakfast as you can see and a big dinner and we don't really do that because like to deprive ourselves or anything one we enjoy doing that it saves us time trying to figure out another like a third meal in the middle of the day it saves us money and we get super excited for dinner and breakfast as well like when we separate our meals more so that really works for us and we usually have the same breakfast as much as we can which is like eggs oatmeal um fruits and to drink i always like to start with some sort of antioxidant shot and this one is propolis propolis drops with water then we have our protein shakes and coffee and always kombucha as well we always try to find and usually we don't have any issues at all so so hungry let's dig in it's already past 10 a.m and now it's time to get some work done so i've set up a little workstation for myself here in the living room and the very first thing i do when i start working every day is go on my notion app and check out what i have going on for the week what i need to do today 
And that's also where I keep a little bit of like a gratitude journal. I list some things. I also remind myself of the goals I'm working towards, the top priorities for the day, as you can see here. I really like keeping things organized and looking pretty. That's a huge part of like keeping me motivated and being productive. And another app that has been a game changer for our businesses is actually Slack, which is what we use to communicate not only with our virtual assistants, but Sumner and I actually use it to communicate with each other during the work day. Like I already mentioned before, we don't really like working in the same environment because we distract each other. We're not nearly as productive. And the same thing goes with like when we need to talk to each other because we own different businesses together, we do need to communicate, but so we don't interrupt each other. We actually talk through everything over Slack. So let's get to work. I am ready to take a break. And usually when I take breaks, honestly, I just like change my environment, go to a different room. Usually I go on social media or like I watch something funny or something to just like completely take my mind off of what I was working on before. And um, I'm gonna take this time to actually show you around the apartment. Starting here at the entrance, you have the dining area right away. Then next to it, we have the kitchen slash workspace everything that we need for our long stays honestly this airbnb has has a washer dishwasher microwave everything then this side of the house we have the first bedroom here double bed and it has a nice smaller balcony on this side and this beautiful mountain view here then across from the bedroom we have this bathroom full bath then we have bedroom number two. That's where Sumner's working. Welcome to my office. <laughs> and I love all of the windows around this bedroom. Look at this. I think this is the Airbnb where we have the most windows ever. It's also one of the bigger ones, but yeah, it's super nice. Really great to get vitamin D and great for kind of working. Then going back to the main area of the apartment, to this side, we have the master bedroom, which is an ensuite. Turn the light on here. There's everything that we need. And here's the bedroom. And one thing that I like to do, honestly, no matter how short of our stay, is unpack all of our stuff because I love seeing everything that we have. And I mean, it's not that much, but I love seeing it. I love when there's not like tons of wrinkles in our clothes. And I'll come back to that because off of the bedroom here, we have the living room, which is super spacious. Like with these two couches over here, a big TV. And then from here we go outside and i wonder if it's really windy oh yeah it is super windy so look at this view and it's a super spacious balcony as well this little seat that i go to in the mornings and the mountain views and the sea views oh my gosh it is super windy and that's why too they have this other sort of balcony so if you go here there'll be no wind and then there's this whole other area that serves also as um, kind of like a grill patio. But yeah, we've been really enjoying the apartment here. And the total cost of this Airbnb was $1,500 for the month that we're staying here, which honestly is not bad for the views and for having three bedrooms. So we are here in the low season, but can't complain. And now, I'm gonna chill for a little bit, really take a break off work, and then I'm gonna set up a little improvised recording studio because we're always switching Airbnb, so we always need to find 
the best placement to record our videos so I can record the video for the other YouTube channel. So let's go. try to do is every time we're done with work we're really done with work we don't do anything else we don't check emails messages we try not no. to talk about work yeah because what I think this is a lot of struggles especially as entrepreneurs is we tend to mix things right like when we're off work we're responding to messages we're thinking or worrying about the next day of work while we're at work we're trying to like watch something or listen to something or take a bunch of breaks as much as we can and instead of trying to mix work and relaxation, is to separate when you're working, you're working hard and only focusing on it. And when you relax, there's no work. It's yeah. full break, full relaxation. So whatever you do, do it to the fullest. That's a kind of our life philosophy. And yeah. we've been doing this for a few years now and it is, it's Ama amazing. Yeah. That's the way to live for us, yeah. Yes, and of course we had to take advantage of our amazing destination. We're here taking a walk on the beach. And that's one thing I love about traveling too. Like our routines are always different yeah. because the scenery is different. The Airbnb is different. And I'm so glad that we get to just like chill and end our work day here on this amazing destination. Which, Absolutely. by the way, we really like Cape Town. Like, yeah, this is a typical day in the life. So we're not really, going out and about and doing the touristic things, but we do that as well. Yeah. Things that you would, you would do when you go on vacation. We just went last week and we visited the top places in Cape Town and absolutely loved it. Yeah. So whenever that vlog comes out, definitely yeah. check it out. We'll link that then in the description yes. for sure. But now we're gonna chill and we're starting to get pretty hungry. So let's get some food. For our home to show on the horizon soon we'll be there Hold on tight I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn That was the end of a typical day in our lives here in Cape Town. We just had delicious dinner, chilled, watched a movie, and now it's the next morning. And it's not such a typical morning because look at this. We made a new friend. We're actually out exploring more of Cape Town today. And we came to see penguins in Africa, which honestly, I did not know there were penguins here. But oh my gosh. Definitely, definitely watch this vlog when it comes out. So I'll be sure to leave that as well as the Cape Town vlog in the description below. But I hope that you like this video and do let me know if you want to see more day in the life vlogs, our routines in different parts of the world. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you at our next destination. Until then, bye.